It's our pleasure to welcome in the head coach of the Northwestern Wildcats in his 17th season in Evanston, Pat Fitzgerald. Fitz, what a way to start the season. Uh, you're in Ireland against a Big Ten opponent. Come from behind victory. How special was that experience and that victory like for your program? Well, really proud of our guys. I mean, I thought we were resilient, down 11 points twice in that game to come back. It was a bowl game type atmosphere, my friend. And uh, to see the way the guys handled it, really proud of them. Well, so much to take away from the game. The offensive line was really impressive. Did you feel they were the catalyst to that comeback in the third and fourth quarter? Yeah, no, no doubt. Absolutely. There were some big plays that happened around it, but, uh, you know, we were going to, you know, ride their backs, so to speak. And, you know, it's an experienced group, you know, with, with Skronsky and Whitaker kind of being the bookends and, you know, just having pre back healthy and same thing with Rowley and then, you know, Charlie Schmidt in the middle. I mean, that's, that's a group we're going to need to lean on all year. And I thought they performed incredibly well. Your quarterback, Ryan Holinsky, was sharp. He hit nine different receivers. You had Cam Porter and Evan Hull. They combined for over 200 yards rushing. How important was a game like that for the confidence of your offense? Huge. Yeah, you know, we we, uh, we obviously sputtered a year ago collectively as a team. And, and uh, the way that our offense started, you know, we, we had two, a nine-play drive, a seven-play drive. And, you know, we only got three points out of it. And the guys were so hungry to get back out there on the field. And then... You know, I thought our defense really stepped up, too. We were much improved. We tackled better. We still have in both sides huge areas for improvement. Uh, but uh, it's always great to be able to coach the guys after a win. And uh, they were pretty motivated here the last couple of days of practice. All phases contributed to that victory in uh, Dublin. Special teams recovers that onside kick with your captain doing that. Huge turning point, Fitz. Defense had three takeaways. Grayson Metz. His forced fumble might have been the biggest play of the game. Yeah, you know, it was a huge play, and we practiced that all the time. You know, it was, you know, punching on the ball, and, you know, we missed a tackle and Metsy's effort, uh, you know, down the field with the punch. And I think we got it, honestly, Pat, by the way we celebrated after the after the ball came out because, you know, the official had a run down, and he's like, ah, yeah, first down, you know. <laughs> it, it goes to the old replay with the worst thing you could ever hear as an opposing coach. The place stands is called. It's like, if it's your way, you're like, yes, you know, it's, there wasn't video evidence one way or the other. So it goes to the judgment call in the field. But yeah, Metsy's play was huge. So you went on Saturday. You guys stay in Dublin until Monday. What was the celebration like for you? You're over there with your dad and members of the Fitzgerald family. What was that like for you? Well, it was great. I mean, my dad had never been to Ireland, uh, and everybody at the Air Langus College Football Classic, it was it was first class, Pat, and it was amazing. You know, my dad would be able to go out to Nerney outside of Dublin to see where his mom was born, the church he was baptized in, uh, family farm. I mean, it was it was incredible. And then to have my Irish family that uh, you know was able to come up and be a part of the game, but then we had 50 family members from Chicago go over. You know, selfishly, it was it was really cool. Uh, Sunday, I think everybody had fun. There were a lot of sunglasses on the plane coming back on Monday. Uh, but you know what? That's what college football is all about. A unique experience for our guys and, and our entire program. And it's one game. You know, we've got a lot of work to do before we get ready for Duke next week in the home opener at Ryan Field. And I hope all of Chicago can come out and watch us play. I think we've got the makings of a really good football team this year. As you said uh, on the radio, some good, clean Irish fun. I'm sure <laughs> you were locked into the game. But at the time, were you aware that during the game they were giving away free beer at the stadium because they, they couldn't do transactions because of the Wi-Fi? I had no idea, but one of the first uh, uh, people I talked to after the game on the field was my son, Brendan. And he's like, Dad, you got to see this picture. These cups were from the bottom of the, the stadium all the way up. I was like, what the heck happened? And he's like, I have no idea, but it was really cool. And then Paul Kennedy, our great uh, SID, says to me, Fitz, yeah, they were just giving away free uh, free Guinness. I was like, wow, it would have been nice, you know, it would have been a good time. So you don't have a game this weekend. You'll host Duke next Saturday. So what was your message to the team when you got back to practice in Evanston? Yeah, you know, great great team win. You know, we, we made plays in all three phases. But, you know, when we watched the tape and, you know, you, you inspect what you expect and you look at what we did fundamentally and technically and some mistakes that we made. You know, we really gave Nebraska eight points and mistakes we made, and, and that, that could have been the difference in the game. So just focus in the areas that we can improve and then, uh, you know, make sure we kind of get back going. We had a really hard practice today. We'll have another hard one tomorrow, and we'll give the guys the weekend off, and then 
we'll get into our normal game week uh, routine. But uh, nobody's satisfied here. It's great. It was great to go one and zero, but we're back at zero and zero and, and refocused on the next challenge. Take us into the Pat Fitzgerald TV viewing situation coming up this weekend. Yeah, will you have a few TVs on watching several Big Ten games, <laughs> or do you like to focus in on one? Will you just like be front and center for Ohio State and Notre Dame? Yeah, well, it's going to be a great family football weekend. We're going to enjoy some games tonight. Uh, we got some Big Ten, you know, big one tonight, Penn State, Purdue. Look forward to watching those two teams compete. And then tomorrow, uh, I'll be out recruiting with along some of my coaches in Chicagoland, and I'll be watching Duke Temple. We play them, so I'll be watching them on my phone. And Saturday, going to go watch the Ramblers. My my sons Ryan and Jack will be playing. And then, yeah, I'll I'll be taking in quite a bit of football, my friend. I'll have two TVs working. Stacey will be in charge of looking at ESPN to see which scores are close, and I'll be I'll be navigating back and forth. Don't get to do that very often, so I'm going to enjoy the heck out of it. Okay, as you switch into dad mode and you're at that Loyola game and you're watching Ryan and Jack, uh, what's your demeanor like? I mean, I, I saw you back in the day when our kids were playing baseball. But I, I haven't seen you as a as a football dad in the stands. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty chill. You'd be surprised. I, I, uh, I I'm more looking to help just telepathically help the coaches, you know, with time management and timeouts. And um, I just want to see the kids have fun and be healthy and, and find a way to win. Yeah, I'm a pretty laid back uh, sports dad. I, I, I never want to be that guy, you know, who right. that guy is. You and I know I usually work the book or, you know, do whatever, or work the scoreboard and stuff like that, the youth stuff. But I'm so thankful for the opportunity my guys have had at Loyola and uh, what a great first one they had last week. You save those emotional moments for Big Ten sidelines on Saturdays. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't need to be that guy with uh, my kids. Uh, we'll, we'll have some fun and we'll learn some life lessons through sports. Pat, have a great weekend. Best of luck to the Cats the rest of the season. Thanks, Pat. Hopefully we play well so I can keep being out with my friend. Go Cats.